So now we're looking at these images in a different perspective. I want to show you that what this image really is about. Half of the song is visible, but it's black. So look at the, the, the horizon line of the the circumference of the song and look how it's made. Look at the texture and all the structure, I mean the sculptures. It's all hands, the same thing, look. Fingernails and tip of the fingers. Bigger ones, same thing. It's all about the same geometry. And now look at the texture that is not showing the song. There's some black deal that, I mean, like I said, it must to have been a glitch in the holography or whatever, this reality. Whether it was on purpose or to show, you know, NASA, hey, you need to, sh you need to know that this is not your the ball of gas that you've been telling your, your other humans. This is not that, and this is a lot deeper, and, and you need to tell the truth, but of course they, they haven't. But look at this. Is it somebody's gonna find out, and somebody's gonna tell? Well, that's me, I guess. But not a single investigator is talking about any of this. None. You won't find this in anywhere. These images, thank God I recorded them, because nobody has seen them or has talked about them and they don't, they don't allow you to see them anymore. This is from 1996. What you see, the song is black, but uh, half of the song is gone. So how do you explain that? But now look at the, the, the rest of the image next to the song. What is that? Think about it. This geometry is visible, the hands, the hands of God, the hands of creation. Well, that's what is based, this reality, the texture is based on that. The crystalline structures that are really in a dark, we are in a dark container, but uh, there is a white reality behind this deal. As I show in another image, and a video from Jose Camilla and documentary Luna with the lights filtering through these things that look like the fabric of the, this reality. Exactly what that is. And look, you're looking at, this is even deeper. Look, half of the song is not even visible. So how does that work? And look what this is. And see, look, it looks like an eye. It, it, it makes you believe that you're seeing faces and eyes, and it's none of that. It is, and it's not. So it's a purposely made deal to, to make you think. You have to use your head, your brain, your mind in this type of deal because this is not for the, the, the ignorance. So look at above the sun, look what there is. Look at these pillars. It's all hands. So they're sticking to, the sun is not just a ball of gas as you, they've been telling us. This is something else. Dr. Bergeron say in that conference, Remakers of Saturn, he say the sun is not what we've been told. And he was right, he must have seen some data that, because that man worked with numbers. They tried to poison him after that conference because of that. He knew the truth and he was credible and he has the authority to speak because he was a real scientist. People like him are very few, very few left that use numbers to create pictures or interpret all the numbers and, and give you a, the panoramic view of what those numbers mean. From all the sensors in the Voyager 1 and 2 and other orbiters, any orbiter, 
or any emission that has sensors, infrared, radio, interferometer, you name it. Well, he was able to build pictures from those numbers, and what you see is really mind-blowing. In that book, Remakers of Saturn, that's what he did. He wrote a book, a scientific book. That's not just a shitty book with words. He back up the words with plates, photo plates, original micro photo plates, enlarged. He used a microscope to enlarge there because the micro plates are tiny. Think about back in those days, the orbiter had kind of a primitive compared to nowadays. And he was able to go into the secret archive, NASA secret archives, and find things that, who an astronaut imitation, imagine, the Apollo 12, this, those astronauts must have shit in their pants when they saw another astronaut there appear from nowhere holding a flag. At first, they didn't hold anything, and then all of a sudden, a flag appeared. What? And who is that? Who that? Who that? Well, who that is daddy. That is creation. For for the mind that creates this reality, he can create anything. He can create you a saucer that look exactly and metallic looking and a radar wave bounce from it and wow, we got an alien vision. No, it's just an illusion. A solid ass illusion. And that's what I'm trying to get across people that if he creates this reality and you're looking at it, I mean, if he can create this, what makes you think that he cannot create anything else? And make you talk to you. You talk to another human or another an alien talking to you, and wow, man, look at that. And I'll take you to my planet and give you a trip. And all of that shit was in your head. You didn't go anywhere. You were sitting in your room and that was it. And you could swear that you even let you dry the, fl the, the, the saucer. Oh, come on, man. You can sit down and, and control this deal. Come on. Sit down and enjoy the ride. I'm going to take you to planet... Huma, or some shit like that. We go to Alpha Centauri, or we go to, to where the big-headed suckers are from. And you didn't go anywhere because, oh, I saw a, a reptilian dude, 10 feet tall and shit, yeah. And you didn't go anywhere, there was none of that. It was all in your mind, I mean, I don't doubt that there are some visitors, but it's just that the more I look into this deal, the less and less I see the possibility that they, these people saw all of that. And, and even if they picture, took pictures of me, you have to start doubting that. Maybe that wasn't really but a holographic projection. Oh, look at it. Look at this. This is the sun, man. It's all black. Half of it is visible. The other half is gone. It's not there. So how are you explain this part? I want to hear it. Talk to me. The problem with the videos I present, nobody talks. There's no comments. Nobody wants to rationalize this. It's like, I mean, they just don't want to get involved and that's sad i need people to talk and, and give you know and get involved and if you don't at least spread this shit around man i don't care if you use your own voice or your deal spray as long as you don't make money from the truth it's all you know okay don't make money out of some, some that should be free for people. The truth should be free. That crap that, that Jose Camilla charges for you to see the stupid image that don't belong to him, 
Oh, but I'm putting them together. But yeah, but they're not yours. They're all of us. We the taxpayer pay for it. What the? So, same thing with Richard Hovland and all my bear and all these other dudes. Oh yeah, I did it work well, but shit, you can do it for free. You can get people involved and help you pay for the, the if you wanna make DVDs and shit. Post that shit and make it for free, man. Or a crowd finance deal. Everybody put 50 cents. You would make more money like that to help you finance your production. Go go to Mexico and haven't done for a, a, a fraction of what you would pay here in the United States. <coughs> but the truth should be for.